In Turkey, the main legislation for the protection of copyrights is the Law on Intellectual and Artistic Works, numbered 5846. The law was originally enacted back in 1951 and amended for several times in 1983, 1995, 2001 and 2004, respectively. Turkish copyright system follows the classical author's rights doctrine and therefore it is based on very conservative principles. While these principles do provide a very strong protection for the author, the creator of the work, maintaining these principles is increasingly difficult in a world of rapid and unpredictable technological developments. In particular, it is sometimes hard to reconcile the assignment of rights procedure ruled under the law with the needs of today's requirements. For these reasons, we see that the Turkish Court of Cassation tends to have a softened approach which is more compatible with the needs of technological developments. My name is Hande Hançar. I am with Gin Plus Partners since 2005 and currently I am one of the partners co-chairing our firm's intellectual property and media entertainment practice areas. In this video, we will talk about the assignment of copyright procedure under Turkish law. In particular, we will talk about the strict and formalistic principles of law and the softened approach recognized by case law. But first, let's start with the basics, as they are important to understand the assignment procedure. Law on intellectual and artistic works protects the rights of the author on intellectual and artistic creations which can be qualified as work as per the definition of the law. The work is defined as any intellectual and artistic products which bear the characteristics of its author and which fall under one of the categories listed under law. These categories are scientific and literary works, musical works, works of fine arts and cinematographic works. Under the Turkish copyright law, the general principle is that the person who creates the work is the author of that work and only real person can be the author. The work made for higher concept is not acknowledged under Turkish law. So, the transfer of rights needs a separate transaction following the rules set forth under the law. The author's rights are categorized in two groups, economic rights and moral rights. The economic rights are the rights which allow the authors to commercially exploit the work, while the moral rights protect the non-pecuniary interests such as reputation and being acknowledged as the author of the work. Only the economic rights of the author can be assigned. Moral rights are not transferable and the author cannot waive the moral rights. However, the right to use the moral rights can also be assigned. As per Article 48 of the law, the rights arising from the work cannot be assigned to third parties unless the work is physically embodied by its owner. In other words, in order to realize the assignment, the work must be physically created. Any agreement that relates to the transfer of rights for the works which has not yet been created or will be completed in the future shall be null and void. However, as per Article 50 of the law, it is possible to obtain an undertaking from the owners for the transfer of rights relating to future works. Therefore, if you make an agreement before the creation of the work, an undertaking can be included in an agreement stating that the determined rights will be assigned to a specified party when the work is physically created. But once the work is created, a separate assignment agreement must be signed. Accordingly, there is a two-stage agreement process. The assignment agreement must be made in writing once the work is physically created and it must be expressly indicated which rights are transferred and under which conditions. Because of the practical difficulties, we see that the Court of Cassation doesn't consider the transfer or license agreement that relate to future works as null and void, but the Court considers that these agreements should be accepted as an undertaking from the author. Also, because of the difficulties of this two-stage agreement process, the Court of Cassation also accepts that, despite the lack of the second agreement, if the parties act in accordance with their undertakings, and if the work is completed and delivered as agreed, then the rights are deemed to be transferred. 
This view of the Court of Cassation is also supported by various experts. On the other hand, a very recent decision of the General Assembly of the Court of Cassation clarified the assignment of rights for the works created at the demands of an ordering party. The decision emphasizes that the ordering party has the right to use the work within the scope of the on-demand work agreement and there is no need to make a separate transfer or license agreement for the use of economic rights. However, if the work is intended to be used in a different way other than the one agreed to under the agreement, a new written agreement for the transfer of economic rights must be made by specifying the format and the media of the intended use. While we see a softened approach through the case law, to be on the safe side, it is best to assign the copyrights from the author using the two-stage agreement process, despite the practical difficulties. For more information, please see our thought leadership paper. Thank you for listening.